so that guy right there, his name is Bo Raffia. Uh, you can just call him Bo for short. And he's another uh, quote unquote angel. He's a part of Ashira's uh, friend group, and he's actually a cherub. And he doesn't have a whole lot of like really outward strength, but he has he's more like utility focused. He's actually, although he doesn't really pop up a lot in the early part of the story, he's a very important character to me. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard the name Emmett Till before. No. Uh, well, I'm going to just try to keep this real quick because I could easily talk about this for like eight hours. And I'm going to try to keep it quick, too, because it's kind of a, a, a sad thing to talk about. But oh, wow. uh, Emmett, yeah, uh, Emmett Till, unfortunately, was a lynching victim from uh, 1955, 14 years old from Chicago, went to visit family in Mississippi. And, um, you know, if you know anything about the Jim Crow era, um, he got he was accused of being like fresh and flirting with a white woman, which was a uh, no, no. So he was taken from his home uh, in the night and uh, was tortured to death and killed, unfortunately. The reason why his, his case is so well known is because his mother, Mamie, when she found, when she uh, got his body back, he was in such bad condition and his face was all jacked up. And she decided that, you know, she was going to show the world, you know, what happened to her son. And so, uh, like black newspapers and stuff at his funeral, they took pictures of his face un unchanged, unedited. And the world saw that, you know, this is the type of stuff that's happening to black people in America, you know, even to kids like no one was safe. Well, I learned about him when I was little, like I was not much older than he was uh, when he was killed. So, you know, obviously his whole case affected me a lot, but I learned a lot about who he was as a person. And I feel like he was an average kid in a lot of ways, but he was also the type of kid where you like, if you look at pictures of him from when he was alive, he's always smiling. He's always, you know, happy. You have lots of family and friends around him. He was like the type of kid that would just like to make you laugh and would just, you know, crack jokes, crack jokes on himself. You know, he had like a little bit of a prankster streak. He liked being the center of attention. And I'm like, you know what? It sucks that, you know, all that people will really know about him for a large part is the fact that he was murdered in this terrible, tragic way. So I'm like, let me make a character after him about how he was as a person, right? And so I modeled my character, Bo, and really Bo was even his nickname in life. They called him Bobo. It was a family name, or Bo for short. So yeah. I took a, um, I believe it's a Swahili word that means healing, Borafia, and I named that my character here, and they call him Bo. And he looks like a, like a really young Emmett. He has the same skin color and everything. And just like Emmett was in life, he's very happy-go-lucky, loves making people laugh. And he's really not a huge fighter, but he has a very strong protective streak. I describe him as one of those uh, people where you're very unlikely to see him get angry, but if you do, someone's about to have a bad time. I really love writing him. Like every time I post about him, people love to see him. He's like, he looks so happy. This guy looks just so lovable. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> he's kind of like, he's almost like a Looney Tune sometimes where, <laughs> where he's just like doing all types of weird shit. Like he'll ride, he rides around on, on a cloud like Kid Goku with the flying Nimbus. And he's, he's really cool. Like, I can't wait to write him more.